simple home remedy for when you think you might be getting sick. At the beginning stages of an illness, you can use three simple ingredients that you probably already have at home. It's also really easy to find in the supermarket. So uh, ginger, this is what it looks like if you've never seen it, um, garlic, and green onion. This is the tail end of the green onion. Um, it normally has the green stalks coming off of it. You're only going to use the white bulb. So what you want to do is without peeling the ginger, just cut a few, like one or two thin slices. That's all you need. And then um, you can use up to two of these white onion, green onion bulbs. I'm just going to use one because the one that I have right here is pretty large. So that should be enough. So I'm just going to slice up the white onion. And so one thing I want to make sure we make clear is what you use this for versus what you don't. So in Chinese medicine, we use categories um, such as wind cold and wind heat to describe different types of colds and flus. And this recipe is particular for wind cold. Wind cold symptoms include things like a very scratchy sore throat, just slight, um, maybe some tension in the upper body, some um, soreness in the neck. Um, you might feel a slight chill um, and maybe a slight headache. Once you've moved into having a high fever or you're sweating profusely, you have a searing sore throat, you have mucus that is yellow. Um, that's more into the wind heat category, and this home remedy isn't going to be particularly effective for that. So remember, this is for wind cold, beginning stages, um, right when you think you might be coming down with something. So um, what you're going to do is take these ingredients and combine them with about a cup um, to a cup and a half of broth. I'm using miso because of the probiotics in here, which is good for gut health. You can use whatever you have on hand. If you don't have any broth on hand, you can use water. That's fine as well. So you're going to combine all your ingredients in the pot and then bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, and then let it simmer for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you can pour your soup into a small bowl. You don't have to strain out the chunks. Keep them in there. So this is the last step and it's an important one. Make sure that when you drink your soup, um, you want to drink it while it's hot and you want to wrap up in a blanket because the properties of the herbs will promote a light sweat. And um, you want to allow that to happen because it will release the wind cold through your pores and kick it out of your system. So um, hope this is helpful for everybody. Stay healthy. Be well, and we'll see you soon. Oh, that's good.